Yo, what's going on guys, Monster here, and today I'm coming out with a brand new video, and on this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to use this brand new Pokemon Go bot. And basically what this bot allows you to do is you're going to log in with your Pokemon account, and then what you're going to do is you're going to set these coordinates so where it's around your area, or really wherever you want to, but you don't want to set it too far away, or else it could result in a ban. And now once you guys just click the start button, it's going to evolve the Pokemon for you instead of you having to do it. It'll capture Pokemon, it'll go around to the Pokemon style that are near you or wherever the coordinates that you set down collect all the pokemon and pokeballs and stuff like that from their stop get xp level you up automatically and hatch eggs as well now leave a link in the description down below so that you guys can check the original person who made this and who found this and who i found this off of in the description down below so you guys can go show that person some love and tell them thank you so much for making this bot it's really easy and simple to use but there is one major thing about it this is only able to be used on the pokemon the ptc accounts the pokemon training club accounts or whatever i forgot what they're called but you can't use this if you use your google or apple account to use uh to make your pokemon account but it's pretty simple if you guys don't if you guys do have a google or apple account what you guys can do is make a brand new pokemon account on the pokemon website or whatever and i'll leave a link to it in the description to that so you guys can go check it out make a brand new account and then just fire it up put the information in the bot and then it'll just get your account up to around level 21 within a day and you'll be all set and you can start playing on there if you want to so let's get right into the tutorial all right so the first thing that you guys are going to do is go down into the description of this video and click the first link it'll take you to a github page that allows you to download this program and then once you guys do download this save it to your desktop or whatever and then extract the files and now once you have extracted go inside of the folder and i'll just do this with you i had to do it with pictures on the screen because i couldn't find a program to record my desktop in hd so you guys can see by the pictures and or just listen to my voice or whatever. So now once you guys open up folder, what you guys are gonna wanna do is go ahead and click on the go bot. I have it highlighted cause there's a couple different go bots inside this folder. It's on the screen now. It's the first one from the top on the screen. So once you guys do click that, that is an application. It'll start up and then it'll come up with this whole like program that says login, login info, only PTC is supported. And then it'll say username and password. Now you guys are gonna wanna type in your username and password there obviously. And then you guys are going to want to go to configuration. And now what you guys are going to want to do is go on to Google map and then figure out your location that you currently live in. And then it'll say your coordinates, or you could probably search up online. What are my coordinates? I'll leave a link in the description to make it easier for you guys. So I'll just make it so much easier and more convenient for you guys. So now once you guys have your longitude and latitude, you guys are going to want to put those coordinates into the configuration boxes where it says longitude and latitude. And then once that's all set up, go ahead, go back to the general tab, enter in your username and password and then just fire it up and then you guys can see the little dialog box at the bottom that shows every single thing that the bot does it goes through your inventory and evolves all your highest level pokemons it'll trade them back to the professor if you guys have any duplicates and stuff like that it'll also hatch eggs go around a couple meters hatch the eggs it'll level you up collect xp from the pokestops and pokeballs and all that stuff and it can actually go past your max limit in your inventory as you guys can see on the video on the side this is pretty much a day's work from this bot and I already got up to level 21 without even playing. This bot's just been going for probably a solid 15 hours, like less than an actual day. And it just completely filled up my bag and got me some pretty good Pokemon. But you guys, that's going to be it for this video. I have another tutorial coming out tomorrow for everybody who is Google users who has a Google account. And this other bot is going to be a lot better to use, but it takes a little bit more. It's a little bit more complicated to use because you actually have to code a little bit. You guys have to change a little bit of the settings in the files. So you have to be a little bit computer smart, but I'll go through that with you guys tomorrow. So if you guys did enjoy this video and it did help you guys out and you guys do want to see some more Pokemon cheats, tips, tricks, bots, and everything like that, feel free to hit that like button. If you guys want to see more, hit that subscribe button as well, and I'll talk to you guys later. Yo guys, it's Monster again. Now one quick thing I want to talk to you guys about real quick that I completely forgot to mention during the video. I might have touched on it a little bit in the beginning, but this can actually result in getting you banned. So I wouldn't suggest doing this with your main account, plus cheating can kind of ruin the game because it is technically cheating since you are just not even doing anything and the bots doing everything for you this can actually get you banned now I have actually gotten banned on about five accounts that I've made and it's not an actual ban as if you can't play but it does limit what you can do for an hour or two now while this bots going if you guys do get banned you'll realize that you got banned because it'll say unable to capture Pokemon and it'll just keep 
and going and going and going and saying this. Now, if you guys do want to test this out for yourself to see if you are banned or maybe just the bot might be broken for a couple of minutes or whatever, go ahead, log on on your phone or whatever, and then try to capture a Pokemon. It could run away. Try like two or three Pokemon. And if each Pokemon gets in the Pokeball or just runs away or whatever, that's how you know that you're soft banned. Now, this soft ban does last for about an hour. Not too much time. It has happened on about five accounts, but expired pretty quickly. And I got banned multiple times on each account so I'm not too sure what they're gonna do if they're gonna improve the ban like the banning or the punishments or whatever that we're gonna get for doing this once this probably gets really popular they might start actually like hardcore banning you and then you can't play on your account anymore so I want to suggest doing this on your main account I didn't I have about four or five other accounts that I just did this on just to have fun with and give my give them my friends help them out and stuff like that I might even be doing a giveaway later this week for you guys too if you guys are wanting to get some accounts but you can't do this yourself but that's gonna be it for this video guys so like I said hit that like button hit the subscribe button don't get banned don't be stupid with this and I'm out guys peace